Is some Metro Police body camera footage being altered without permission? The Community Oversight Board says yes. News Channel 5's Araceli Crescencio got a hold of some internal investigation documents that show more than one employee edited videos. But how many times they did so remains unknown, which is why community leaders say further investigation is needed. Body cameras have become popular in law enforcement over the last few years, helping build transparency between community members and officers. But while investigating a police misconduct case in June, the executive director of the Community Oversight Board says some recordings were tampered with. You can see that there was um, the removal of a section of the body worn camera footage. It was done very skillfully. Um, you wouldn't be able to tell it if you're just watching it continuously. During a COB meeting last month, Metro Police initially said one person was responsible for deleting swearing out of videos. I just want to make sure that you understand it wasn't intentional. This was just a uh, real oversight of this person and, and the job duties and not understanding that they can't do that for these type of videos. But after conducting an investigation, MMPD says it was actually two employees violating policy. That raises questions for Jill Fitchard. Usually when people are using profanity, they are escalated in some sort of way. And so, you know, I don't know if there were any other um, issues that were connected to the profanity. For instance, if someone was using racial slurs or if they were, you know, saying things that were negative about gender. It's unknown how many videos were edited, but MMPD says swearing from all parties was cut, not just officers. The employees have been reprimanded, but for the sake of transparency, Fitchard says the COB needs more answers and are asking for an external review. I think it's more pervasive than we think um, on how this was happening. This is a bigger issue than I think that even we have really thought was happening initially. In Nashville, Araceli Grisencio, News Channel 5.